So we have our first annual foot tennis tournament. Um, it's something that we've been trying to work for the last couple of years, but unfortunately because of COVID last year we couldn't do it and the year before that we just had a weird training schedule. So we invited a couple of community partners and we have the boys playing. Uh, we got a couple of shirts for the winners. So it's something to have a little bit of fun right before the Thanksgiving break. So, you know, the kids are having fun, so it's good. So you're already planning for this next season. How how different is it now as opposed to other seasons before COVID, just getting this team together? Yeah, so we actually, district-wide, there was uh, low numbers for participation. So recruitment within campus uh, was definitely something that we had to uh, deal with this year, something that we normally wouldn't do. For example, the three seasons before COVID, uh, our registration numbers for tryouts were in the 160s, 170 range. This year we had 70, uh, so it's a big, big drop. But overall, I think we have a good group. Uh, the preparation, obviously, is having a big roster, just in case any of the kids do end up being exposed to COVID or something like that, that we do have a team to compete with consistently. Um, but overall, in terms of expectations, you know, regardless of what the numbers are, regardless of what the program is looking like, we just want to go out and compete and get these kids exposed to some colleges. What's, what's the overall goal for you here at Sioux? Uh, the overall goal, just in general, honestly, is to build a program that the kids from the community can take advantage of, that can use it as a platform to go ahead and get them off to a college, get them off to a program, get them off to a school where they can show their talents, where they can show their abilities. Uh, it requires a lot of discipline to be in our program. Um, I am a very, very uh, strict with the kids. We have 6 a.m. practices, we have study hall, we have weight room, we keep an eye on their diets. We do a lot of things here that we normally wouldn't do at the high school level, but it's something that I feel that they need um, just to establish a bit of discipline on their end because the talent's there. So in terms of a program, we just want to make sure that they understand that this is what's expected of them once they leave this high school and they're playing at a college. How do you feel this team that you have coming in for the varsity is going to be strong, a lot of returners? Right, yeah, we do have a lot of returners. Um, I feel that we have a really, really talented group. We have a lot of players here who can play at the next level. We have a lot of players here who are juniors this year. So I think for this year and next year, we're going to compete at a really, really high level. Uh, this year, we're going into the second division. We're the top league of our uh, conference. So next year, we're hoping to get promoted to the first division. Finally, a dream that we've been working on for a couple of years now. And, um, you know, we got to win something this year. We got to win either league or CIF or something to show for all the work that the kids are putting in. All right, John. So Director of Community Relations for the San Diego Softers. You're here at, at, in the community at Sweetwater High School. Uh, how did you link up with uh, Coach Diego Espinosa here in National City? It was easy. He knew Julie B. And he also requested us on our website to come out. And so we love being out in the community as part of what we do. And uh, he does, Diego does such a great job. So it was a no-brainer to come out and support what he does and the kids in the community. So we love coming out. Absolutely. And San Diego Soccer is ramping up for their season coming up here in the winter. Can you talk to us about some sort of the, some of the preparations going into that, going out into the community, spreading the word out? Sure. It's um, with the season coming up December 19th. It's been uh, once it, once it turns August, then we're in the community. We have a community golf program where we got to different local uh, golf courses and tournaments and provide support for them and raise money for them and so we do that and then doing events like this just get the word out and provide support to nonprofits, local nonprofits who do such a great job in the community and we just want to be a part of that to help our community. So a, a lot of people that know the soccer must know that they have just come off of a winning season. So, you know, being part of the winning team, how, how special was that getting 15? You can see the smile. It, um, going to try and get 15 was a challenge, but once you get it and you raise the cup, it's, it's amazing. And, and now being able to call champions and not chasing the championship, but actually being champions is amazing. And so that just starts it. It makes the job a little bit easier, but still you have to put in the hard work. And, but being a champion, is amazing a great feeling and uh, it just spreads throughout and people in the community know but it's also great to tell people for the first time you don't know that you know you have a champion in town 
Absolutely. And uh, one last question. What are the winners getting here at the uh, tennis tournament? Uh, I heard there's some, there some special prizes for the winners here. Yes, the high yes we provided uh, the winners with, uh, the winners will get two loge tickets. Uh, buy one, get one free coupon as well. Uh, soccer skaters, other soccer swag, and Julie B, who's a, a partner with us and for alumni all-star. He also provided signed limited edition artwork that they'll get. So they get um, a lot of a nice prize package from the soccers and everybody will get two pairs of tickets to the game. And we hope to do more with them, uh, have a uh, different community of fundraising event, hopefully so they can raise money so Diego can continue doing the great work that he does with these kids. Did you get out there already? Uh, I just watched Julian and I was like, that was enough for me. He still has the skill and it's amazing that he can still do what he does. And uh, so I, I'll let him handle that, that work and I'll stand back. <laughs> Perfect, appreciate it. All right guys, so you guys are the three captains for this year's Sweetwater uh, varsity soccer team. So can one of you tell me what are you guys expecting from this season being your last year in high school and your last year playing for this team? Uh, well, I'm, what I'm expecting is uh, well, a good season. Uh, hopefully we can win like the tournament and we can bring home the banner, the banner home and um, just the new friendships that we're making. And you guys are seniors, there's juniors in the team. Um, I don't know if there's sophomores in the varsity team this year, but how are you guys kind of guiding the, those juniors and the younger players for next year when they become seniors? Uh, our way is being there for them mainly, like helping them out instead of screaming and telling them to go other places. It's teaching them if they're messing up instead of having them just push to the side. Helping them out and showing them what it's going to be like for them playing at a varsity level. And surely they should be there. And then what are you guys' hopes for your career? Like well, how far are you trying to take soccer uh, with your lives, especially with <clears throat> so many so many options here in San Diego now with San Diego Loyal 1904 San Diego soccer is for higher level soccer oh uh, yeah we're, we're trying to get picked up for any college I'm trying to get picked up for cream so I'm gonna try hard to try to get there uh, I'm trying to make it pro so by going to Spain and trying out for teams over there and stay there for a while uh, for me anywhere hopefully I can get picked up play pro but if anything as always education so college would be our next big option Sergio, estás representando a San Diego Loyo aquí Así en es. National City. Con mucho orgullo. Se me hace que tú también tienes uh, conexiones aquí con el Sweetwater High School. ¿Qué, qué, ¿Qué te trae aquí de nuevo? No nomás el trabajo de San Diego Loyo, pero tú has es, trabajado con Diego, el, el coach aquí. De... Claro, sí, no, pues, este, pues muchas ganas de trabajar y de ayudar a la comunidad, ¿no? Pues, tal como lo está haciendo San Diego Loyo. Poner lo que podamos de nuestra parte para que estos jóvenes disfruten de fútbol y de, de un buen ambiente aquí en Chula Vista, ¿no? ¿Y qué es lo que te gusta de San Diego Loyo en particular? Ahorita es un equipo que, que pasó hace dos años. ¿Te, te gusta el fútbol que, que sí. traen? Sí, de ti como, ¿Eres fan? No claro, lo sí, no. Empecé trabajando con ellos. O sea, fui primero a, a los partidos como fan y luego me metí a internships y ahí conocí a Ricardo Campos, que ahorita está de presidente. Lo entrevisté a él y él me mencionó este programa de, de embajadores, ambassadors, y por eso me metí para, como, di, como dije, estar tratar de poner de mi parte como pueda con el club y la comunidad. ¿Y tú trabajas, has trabajado con la comunidad futbolera en San Diego? Sí, con el, el fútbol San Diego. Sí, pues con, ah, con, conozco a Diego. Diego, la verdad, lo considero un poco de, como un mentor. Él me ha ayudado mucho, pues llevo tres años de coach. Mi primer año él me vio joven, me dijo, ¿sabes qué? Vente conmigo, con mi equipo. Así conocí aquí a varios de estos jóvenes y sí, la verdad que Diego me, me ha ayudado mucho a a entrar al, al fútbol aquí en Chula Vista, no, no solamente pues, en la prepa de Sweetwater, así, pero igual en Club que estoy en Rebels. ¿Y qué es tu mensaje a la, a la gente que te pregunta de San Diego Lodo, o sea, esa gente que es futbolera, que sabe del fútbol, pero a lo mejor ah, no sabe mucho del equipo en sí? ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo los convences para ir a un partido o para que vean un partido de San Diego Lodo? Pues siempre les hablo de los jugadores que son jugadores muy buenos, de muy buena calidad, que si van los juegos, no solamente van a tirar fiestas, sí es un muy buen evento, pero también van a disfrutar de un buen fútbol. La verdad que el equipo, el cuerpo técnico ha trabajado muy bien, se ha visto el, el progreso, pues llegamos, llegamos a playoffs en tan poco tiempo y la verdad que lo que me ilusiona el equipo es las metas que presentan y la, la ética, el carácter, cómo se llevan todos, el, el compañerismo, o sea, Jack Blake entró hace poco, ya se integra con todos, como si fueran hermanos de hace años, o sea, todo me gusta muy bien el ambiente. Está bien, ya te metiste a un partido de, de foot tenis. 
este, le estoy dando chance a los morros que, pues, que ellos, que ellos ganen, ¿no? <laughs> okay, ya está. What are you expecting out of this? I'm gonna get my ass kicked. I'm gonna look the most unathletic I have in a while, and I'm gonna get my ass kicked by a bunch of high schoolers. So nice. Oh, oh, oh! No. Told you I would look the most unathletic I ever have. Que lo vengan a ver. I think Tony has touched the ball zero times. You had the bounce. Huh? That was good. You should have just sent it over. I should have. Because that was one bounce. <laughs> oh. That was one bounce. That was one bounce. Oh, that was one bounce. That was one bounce. That's their ball. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's on cap. I saw it. It was one bounce. Is that game? That's game. How'd you let the fat guy beat you guys? Huh? You just let the fat guy beat you. <laughs> Come on. That was a good game. That was intense. Yeah, good game. This is, this is Tony's alma mater. Oh no, what are you doing? Hey, te la eches and we'll edit that video y te lo mandamos. <laughs>
has to have that bounce. going after you dude get him back get him back Leave him alone! Leave him alone! <laughs> Alright, touch the touch! He, he, said it, he said it was personal. ¿Cuánto va? ¿Cuánto va? ¿Cuánto va? A ti que I think so. Hey, I'm gonna record this last survey, yeah, eh? <laughs> 